Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me once again today, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2. This is round four of the first group stage of Shadow Online Gaming's Winter Tournament that I've been... Not the Winter Tournament. Shadow Online Gaming's Tournament that I've joined. Um, but this is actually my second game. I first played Gojira. Uh, now I am playing Monsters Abound, who I believe is another, another YouTuber here. Um, and in the next game, of course, I'll be playing... Uh, somebody different. I'll be playing Dov Plays, actually. But, so this is my, this is the first time I've ever played Monsters Abound, and he's told me this is actually his first time playing a multiplayer game. So, we'll see. I'm, I'm rusty, because I've been playing Three Kingdoms. Uh, I have not been playing Warhammer 2 lately, so we'll, we'll see what happens. And I'm playing with Beastmen against Greenskins. So, let's go into slow motion. We can see here, Monsters Abound has deployed a massive Gobbo Force right on my flank. Uh, looks like five Night Goblins... Three, four, five Night Goblin Archers. He's got Skarsnick, Durkit Squigs, and a Night Goblin Shaman all over here. And then up front, he has uh, the Moon Howlers, Mogrub's Mangy Marauders, an Arachnorok Spider, and two Night Goblin Squig Hoppers kind of deployed to flank where he kind of hoped I would be pushing up, I guess. Up in the front, I'm playing as the Beastmen. I've got two Centigors with Throwing Axes, which I brought basically just in case there was an Arachnorok or uh, Black Orcs. These guys are really good at dealing some damage to Black Orcs. Over on the flank, I have two Chaos Warhounds with Poison. I have another Chaos Warhound with Poison hidden way in the back, who will start moving in just a second. Down here, I've got kind of a mishmash of a front line. I've got a few Ungor Spearmen herd, including the Destroyers of the Drakwald, with shields. Um, I like these guys. They're cheap, they're relatively efficient, they kind of get the job done. They're not super, super great, but against, like, goblins and stuff, they'll they'll do the job. I have a Gore herd with shields. Uh, I have Blackhorn's Ravagers, which are one of the ROR units, and I think Blackhorn's Ravagers are a really, really solid unit for the price. Uh, I have one Centaur with Great Weapons, once again, basically for Arachnoroks or Black Orcs. I have one Minotaur with Great Weapons. I have a Beast Lord on a Chariot, just a basic bitch Beast Lord. Nothing too terribly special, nothing too terribly expensive. He does have the Horn of the First Beast, Apocalyptic Vision, and Bloodlust. I also have a Brace Shaman of Death. Death Magic, I think, is really, really effective against Greenskins, especially because you can drop the Aspect of the Dread Knight and Doom and Darkness for a really, really powerful Leadership Bomb. I've also given him Spirit Leech, just in case there was something I wanted the Spirit Leech, and he has the Jagged Dagger. And my second line behind my infantry is three Razor Gore Herd. I've watched some people use these guys over the last few months, actually. These guys are actually really efficient at adding armor-piercing damage to your front line. If you have some chaff for them, they can really kind of charge in and do some work. Now, it's hard to cycle charge them because they do rampage, but on that initial charge, they can they can lay a beating down on armored units. So, my plan here was to have my front line engage whatever infantry he had, send the Razor Gores in right behind on, with a charge, uh, crush whatever his front line units were, or at least hold them in place, um, and then use my magic and mobility to end his skirmishers and cycle some rear charges and hopefully break the leadership of his front line pretty quickly. Let's see how it works out. So... I'm realigning, he's charging in, we're about to uh, collide here actually, I think, already, the goblins are just absolutely rushing, my centaurs have pulled back, they're right here, pushing back out to engage the arachnorok spider, we are taking some arrow fire from the night goblin archers, but his archers are clumped quite close to his infantry, and we're going to get a totally unexpected rear charge into those night goblin archers, these guys are still going to get beaten up by Skarsnick and by the fact that they hit a unit of night goblins, but still it's kind of funny. And it distracted him a little bit. Lots and lots of fanatics going out, wrecking parts of my front line. Over here, we've got a big goblin cavalry engagement. Goblin cavalry is chasing off my centaurs with throwing axes, and I'm committing my leadership, who did not join my front line. My front line is charging in by itself. The razor gores are wreaking fucking havoc. Crashing into the night goblin archers, crashing into the regular night goblins. My Chaos Warhounds have been driven off with only 12 kills, but that's okay. We also got him to launch some fanatics into his own night goblin archers. Very unfortunate. Over here, uh, the Beast Lord is charging in to intercept these Night Goblin Squig Hoppers, who are not a huge threat to him. We're also bringing in... The Centigors are pulling out, and I believe these guys are swinging back around. They were on this flank, and honestly, I might as well just throw them in on this flank, I guess. But I saw this happening, and I was like, well, I'll pull these guys back and handle this situation. Uh, the Moon Howlers are already pretty much breaking. My Chaos Warhounds were intercepted by the Arachnorok Spider and breaking off, but I've dropped Aspect of the Dread Knight on my Beast Lord so that he can cause terror, and he's doing a pretty good job. Meanwhile, in the front line, my front line isn't of hugely high quality, but it's higher quality than the Greenskin front line. He's got Durkit Squigs up here, and that's the only place he's doing well. Down here, my Ungor Spearman Herd and uh, Blackhorn's Ravagers, my Razor Gores, all these stuff, they're just beating the absolute snot 
out of these goblins. I am taking casualties on my Ungor Spearmen, but Blackhorn's Ravagers are getting a lot of damage in, and they are actually routing off some of the goblins already. Meanwhile, up here, my Centaurs with Throwing Axes are sitting still again because they were shooting at the Arachnorok Spider, about to get charred. My Wolves are recovering. My Beast Lord is pulling out, going to cycle back around to go somewhere. And... Uh, my uh, Centaurs with Great Weapons charged up here and now have come back around. They're looping about as the enemy front line completely buckles. My Minotaur is charged in. This line is just breaking apart. Uh, I am dropping Aspect of the Dread Knight in an AoE down on this side to give a little bit of support. We have routed off the enemy Goblin Shaman. The Razor Gores are rampaging, racking up the damage. Uh, the Night Goblins are not very happy with themselves. We've got my Centaurs loose, and they're once again throwing their axes into the Arachnorok Spider, which has taken a little bit of damage. It's only gotten a few kills so far, and now the Minotaurs are coming in to block it up as a massive rear charge lands on my engaged troops, but it's mainly landing on the Centaurs. The Centaurs being here are essentially preventing these Night Goblin Squig Hoppers from doing the job they want to do, which is getting a clean charge on my infantry and mulching them. And as we drop more Doom and Darkness, their leadership goes way down and the enemy buckle. Meanwhile, over here, the Arachnorok Spider is not having a good day fighting my Minotaurs. And my Hounds are now swinging back in to clean up routing units and prevent the enemy from recovering. Now, of course, as I said, this was, I think, Monsters Abound's first game. Uh, so, for example, I didn't see him use Wa at all. Um, and he brought this, this very heavy Goblin build, which is very, very fragile. Goblin builds really have to be used very, very carefully. So... I think what happened was, basically, he just ran into, uh, I, my front line was tough enough to stand off all his goblins, and my skirmishers, which I didn't handle perfectly either, but my skirmishers were enough, with the support of my centaurs and my minotaurs very briefly, and my lord, to, to hold off his skirmishing force and prevent them from accomplishing what he was hoping to accomplish with them, which was to get around the back of my infantry line as I engaged his goblins over here, and launch cycle charges. But, good game. Uh, glad to have you in the community, Monsters Abound. Glad that you're joining us. I hope the rest of the tournament is productive for you. You learn a lot and you get some good wins and some fun games with people. So, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, Monsters Abound, for playing. Thank you, Shadow Online Gaming, for hosting the tournament. And I will see everybody in the next one. We can take a look at the at the armies here for a second. You can see here the people who did the most killing on my side. Well, first of all, my, my British Shaman. Um, the Chariots make these guys absolutely lethal against light infantry like this, and they were charging into the front line by the end of the game and causing a lot of havoc. Um, these Centaurs with great weapons got a couple of really good in contacts. Uh, when they charged into the infantry fight, they racked up a lot of kills very quickly, and they really helped break the morale of that whole side of the Goblin line. And my uh, my Razor Gore herd did fine. I mean, this isn't a lot of kills considering they were fighting Goblins, but... Even so, I, I'm happy with the money I paid for them. They did their job, which was to kind of stiffen the line, prevent it from buckling. And, uh, yeah, it was a very, very solid... I, I think this works. It could have been more efficient, but I think this did basically well. And the Blackhorns Ravagers, for a while there, they were fighting alone against about three goblin units and giving just as good as they got. So very, very solid unit here. Um, I wanted the the ROR halberd bestigors as well but I couldn't just I just couldn't justify spending 1300 on them when I didn't anticipate a list full of like armored you know monsters against greenskins I don't think you necessarily need the rabbit the um uh the other one the marauders I don't think you really need them against greenskins in a lot of matchups they're vital but in this one eh, maybe not in any case thank you once again for watching I'll see y'all next time